Okay. Hi, I'm uh, Mani. I'm a partner at uh, Madras Design Works. Uh, we are a firm of architects working in Chennai. We have three partners. We started out in 2005 uh, out of a small office uh, in uh, Eldams Road. And since then, we've grown to be about 20 people in a firm. Our work is primarily uh, uh, focused on uh, getting to clients and their requirements, uh, very type of projects, residential, institutional, commercial, and we really don't specialize in any one particular type of work. So this particular client uh, wanted to build a house for herself in, uh, on the ECR in the southern part of the city. Um, this is more of a, a weekend and a recreational home for them and they wanted something that exciting that was exciting and that captured the site. Uh, so they did have a very simple form, a very simple program that they should be able to use this house on the weekend and still be able to maintain it fairly well uh, in spite of it being used only a few days in the week. So this is a site along the sea. Um, it's about 600 meters away from the sea and uh, the entire idea was to capture the essence of this site. So um, the client wanted us to uh, give them a design where uh, it's not just a beachside home but took full advantage of the fact that you can see the sea from a lot of places in the site. So this is a plot that's fairly rectangular, it's about 15,000 square feet plot with a road on the southern side. We took a diagonal for the plot of the entire plot and literally converted a, a format for the house's two bars, uh, one above the other. So this geometry then led us to uh, design the house along this, uh, along this two diagonal pathways. So every room that we then created and the junction of these two bars then offered us unlimited views uh, in every direction because the minute you split the geometry and then create angles between the, the rooms themselves, then you offer a lot of glimpses of the, of the sea in front. So the minute we got this geometry in place, then this automatically gave us a few quadrants around the house that was very interesting. So the front quadrant is the entrance quadrant or a more formal quadrant. It has a slightly more formal garden and a driveway and a parking area. And then you enter into a foyer, you have a bridge between the foyer and the living which kind of has two landscape portions on either side and then you can still see a glimpse of the swimming pool. Um, it's completely enclosed in glass. And you come into the living and then you get a glimpse of a double height dining which connects the both, both the bars. So the interesting part about doing a geometry that has intersecting uh, uh, spaces is that you get some of these kind of places which we converted into a double height which for us is the center of the house. So in this point, it became the dining uh, of this house. So there is a fairly sculptural staircase, which uh, you have a sculptural wall and the staircase going around it up to the first floor level. The services portions are tucked away behind. So the living, the kitchen, the service utility and a couple of servants quarters are tucked in there. So from the dining, you can look out into this large deck with a swimming pool and then a view to the sea and to its rear side is a, is a bedroom with its windows opening out towards the southeastern side which again looks towards the sea. So this is a more uh, uh, entertainment court, it has the swimming pool right in the middle and um, kind of the dining, the living and the entertainment spaces spill over into this court and the deck around it. Uh, this is a court which is more private for this bedroom. So the bedroom kind of acts access to this with a small deck and that's a more uh, private part of the house. And then a more uh, services and the utilities are tucked away in one other court which uh, opens out from the kitchen. The first floor level had uh, one uh, family living space and two bedrooms. Now, uh, the minute we came up to the first floor level, we automatically had the terrace above the ground floor level and that uh, gives us the best opportunity to use them as you're walking from one bedroom to the other and had a large opening. So this almost oriented it, oriented the house and the terrace towards the east and towards the sea. So that became the most exciting part of the house. So any parties and any time that they wanted to spend time outside, that's the best 
terrace that they had. This is the master bed. The master bed and its balcony was cantilevered over the swimming pool so that when you step out onto the balcony, it's almost like you're uh, you're floating above the swimming pool. The rear part of this terrace had an access from the double height space and it was partly uh, services, some of the services elements were tucked away behind it and then you had a staircase going up to the second floor level, which again is an open terrace viewing towards the sea. So everything in this house and every aspect and every room, uh, the way the beds were positioned and the way the, the, the living uh, furniture was positioned and the, and the entire orientation of the house was uh, done so that you can capture every single uh, view of the sea in this plot.